In this video, we're going to talk about using Tojin to issue dividends for ERC20 tokens. After you generate your token, and it has been confirmed on the blockchain, you can head over to your token manager. Now, of course, you can send tokens, burn tokens in CrowdSell, as we've covered in previous videos. But once you've actually sent tokens to at least one person, you'll be able to then issue dividends. You'll know that you'll be able to send dividends because your tokens won't be 100% of the token distribution. Simply click on Issue Dividends, and then issue the amount of Ether that you would like to issue as a dividend. Let's say my business line earned $100. So we want to issue $100 in Ether. In today's value, that is about 0.55 Ethereum. Once you include the number, just click Calculate Dividend. And it will then calculate how much each person who owns your tokens should get based on your total dividend. If I want to issue one Ether in dividends, I can click Calculate Dividend again, and it will recalculate the amount. Now, I can click Pay All, and that will pay everyone, or I can do it one at a time. So if I click Pay Dividend for this person, my MetaMask will open up, and I can then click Confirm Transaction, and it will send to that one person. If I click Cancel, I can actually just go ahead and pay everyone. Now what this will do, because it's completely client side. Now, what we could do is say, hey, send us all of your Ether, and then you trust us, and then we'll send it out. But to make this a trustless transaction, you can actually click Pay All, and it'll create two separate transactions, or however many token holders you have, and then you can actually confirm them independently. Why can't you just do all of this in one transaction? The reason for this is because the way that Ethereum is structured is that you can only send one transaction to one person at a time. Now, with a smart contract, you could do a for loop and actually loop through all of the people. However, there are gas limitations which limit how much data you can process at one time. So if you have a thousand token holders, you actually can't do a for loop because it's Ethereum's way of preventing clogging up of the network. So every transaction has to be done separately. That is a limitation of Ethereum. So all of your transactions will be created. You can click confirm and I'll click confirm again for the next person. And there you go. You've now sent out dividends to all of your token holders. And it's that simple. We've also added a little search feature so you can search through tokens that other people have created. So I could type in A and I can see all of the tokens that have been generated on Tojin that have the letter A in them. You can see them in autocomplete or you can click enter and see a full list to see which blockchain they are deployed to if they're actually deployed to a blockchain or if they're a draft, for example, this one, and the descriptions. And you can click on them to get more information about those tokens. Thank you so much. We look forward to your feedback. And as always, may the proof be with you.